لبيك اللهم لبيك لبيك لا شريك لك لبيك إن الحمد والنعمة لك والملك لا شريك لك لبيك اللهم لبيك لبيك لا شريك لك لبيك إن الحمد والنعمة لك والملك لا شريك لك لبيك اللهم لبيك لبيك لا شريك لك لبيك لبيك والنعمة Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuhu. This is us, you and Saad Ko. I am Rashida Abu Bakar, your regular anchor, welcoming you to another edition of the program. The review of the 2024 Hajj continues during the period under review. Nakan, state and the FCT implemented a comprehensive feeding program to provide nutritious meals to Nigerian pilgrims in Medina, Mecca, Mina and Arfat. In keeping with its policy guidelines, Nakon is responsible for the feeding arrangement in Medina while the states take care of the feeding of their pilgrims in Mecca. How these entities handle the feeding mandate during the 2024 Hajj is the trust of the spotlight segment. Also in the program is making the Hajj and other segments such as Nakon News Diary which highlight the activities of Nakon and other stakeholders in the Hajj industry. Still coming your way is the announcement of the quiz winner. This and more shortly. Don't go away. <laughs> Welcome back and thank you for staying with us. The program kicks off with the news diary top in the lineup. Nakan gets new chairman and officials of Kaduna State Pilgrims Agency pay condolence visit to families of pilgrims who died during 2024 Hajj. Stay tuned for these and more. <laughs> President Bola Ahmed Tinubu has approved the appointment of Professor Abdullahi Saleh Usman Pakistan as the chairman of the National Hajj Commission of Nigeria, NACON. A renowned Islamic scholar, Professor Abdullahi served as chairman Kano State Pilgrims Welfare Board during the tenure of Governor Abdullahi Umar Ganduji. The new chairman studied at the University of Medina and Peshawar in Pakistan. President Tinubu called on him to discharge his duty to Nigeria with integrity, transparency, and utmost fidelity. In the meantime, as part of its corporate social responsibility, the National Hajj Commission of Nigeria, NACON, on Wednesday this week donated pharmaceutical items to faith based organizations. They are Muslim Professionals in Dawa Foundation and Peace Care Foundation. Nakon Commissioner of Planning, Research, Information, Statistics and Library Services, Professor Abu Bakar Yagawal, made the presentation at Hatch House. While handing over the items, Professor Yagawal said the donation is part of Nakon's initiative to contribute to the well-being of Nigerians through organizations that are actively engaged in improving healthcare services and promoting peace through da'wa and other humanitarian activities. Representatives of Muslim professionals in Da'wa Foundation, Umar Bello, and that of Peace Care Foundation, Dr. Aisha Siddiq, appreciated Nakon for the gesture, noting that the medical staff will be used judiciously for the benefit of Nigerians. The donated pharmaceutical items are surplus from the ones used during this year's Hajj exercise. In other news, officials of Kaduna State Pilgrims Welfare Agency have visited the families of its pilgrims who died during the 2024 Hajj. The visit was to officially extend the agency's condolences and also submit the deceased belongings to their relatives in Ikara and Kubo local government areas. The late pilgrims are Habiba Garba, Asma U Muhammad, Udi Yahya, and Inusa Audi. The pilgrims' possessions include luggage, 
Zamzam Zam Water and some money. Chairman of the Pilgrims Agency, Malan Salhu Abubakar, was represented by Administrative Secretary of the Agency, Malam Baba Ahmed, submitted the items and prayed for souls of the departed pilgrims to rest in peace. <laughs> In another development, Jigawa State Pilgrims Welfare Board has presented its 2024 Hajj report to the state governor, Umar Namadi, at Government House. Submitting the report, the Amirul Hajj and Emir of Hadija, Alhaji Adamu Abu Bakar Maji, thanked Governor Namadi for giving him the opportunity to serve the state. He also commended the Director General of the Board, Ahmed Umar Labbu, and his staff for their contribution towards the success of the 2024 Hajj exercise. Responding, Governor Umar Namadi appreciated the Hajj officials and the Amirul Hajj and his team, saying the recommendations contained in the report will be used to improve on subsequent Hajj operations. <laughs> Alhamdulillah, you are still watching As You Ansar Call, a public enlightenment presentation that keeps you abreast of the activities of the National Heart Commission of Nigeria, NACON, and other heart related matters. During the 2024 heart exercise, NACON and state officials ensured that the dietary requirements of Nigerian pilgrims were met. In our next segment, Spotlight, we shall take you through how Hajj managers ensure that Nigerian pilgrims were properly fed during the just concluded Hajj. Keep watching. <laughs> Consistent with Hajj mandate, the feeder arrangements for Nigerian pilgrims in Medina to Munawara is solely the responsibility of the National Hajj Commission of Nigeria, Nakan, while in Makatil Mukarrama, the states are in charge under the supervision of Nakan. When the National Hajj Commission of Nigeria, Nakan, reviewed its feeding policy, the idea was to have a variety of menu options to cater for the diverse dietary needs of Nigerian pilgrims. To achieve the objective of providing Nigerian pilgrims with balanced diet, NAKAN usually constitutes feeding committees with clear instructions to ensure the following. Compliance with contract agreement, timely delivery of food, guarantee the quality and quantity of the meals served to pilgrims, make appropriate reconciliation of transactions made with caterers. Others are being watchful over the hygienic condition of the kitchens as well as to identify challenges and solve them. In line with this, Nakon Feeding Committee in Medina, headed by Abdullah Kabiru, carried out routine inspections of the kitchens contracted and also supervised the process of food delivery and distribution. Abdullah Kabiru and his team moved from one kitchen to another and observed with satisfaction as the caterers diligently followed the regulations of seven Nigerian pilgrims safe food. Also in Mecca, similar exercise was carried out by state officials. By ensuring that the food produced is in line with the menu provided them, we requested of them to serve. So and usually when we come, we monitor it to ensure that once they are producing this food in a very neat environment and uh, to also follow up and ensure that they provide this food timely because we have a time for morning breakfast and dinner. So we always receive, ask them to produce, to follow them and show that they produce this morning food between 4 a.m. to 6 a.m. That's for breakfast. Then in the evening, they always provide the dinner from 4 p.m. to around 10 or thereabouts, but usually by 8. We make a, a, a seven days dietary recall. Seven days dietary recall means you have a plan what to eat for seven days. So we took Monday because you know we are giving our pilgrims breakfast and dinner. So for the breakfast, we have the timetable from a breakfast, we have that of the dinner. What they would get in, on Monday, 
is different from what they'll get on Tuesday, is different likewise up to Sunday. So that is how we recycle seven days plan. In the course of the inspection, officials were required to check, among other things, the expiry date of food stuff. When picking menu, the peculiarities of Nigerian pilgrims were taken into consideration. And so, the menu reflected a thoughtful blend of traditional Nigerian cuisine and international dishes. This allowed pilgrims access to familiar foods and also had the test of other dishes. Yes, as we are the side, we sat several times with the uh, caterer, the caterer service provider, and uh, the beloved Amin, which was with the uh, the calling of our pilgrims. They are tell the test and the nature of food they are they are used to. We sat together, and that is why most of the our, our pilgrims are not complaining about uh, about the feeding arrangement. And apart from that, as the feeding was for, was was dinner was was breakfast and dinner, the state government has also intervened to take care of the lunch. We enjoyed fantastic food, uh, meals that are served hygienically, they're very good, excellent, test quality, the packaging, delivery. Uh, what is important about food is the quality, quantity, and delivery. Because if you, I'm hungry, you didn't give me, no matter how good it is, the pilgrim will uh, suffer. So the, 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 the quality, the quantity, and the timing of delivery was fantastic. We are satisfied, and our pilgrims, in fact, it contributed to their healthy condition. We didn't record much uh, casualties, we didn't record much uh, problems in terms of challenges, uh, health challenges and so on. The menu that was presented by a committee set up to look at the feeding of the pilgrims. So the pilgrims from Bono State were fed very well with the approved menu. We have also taken into account pilgrims that are diabetic, and the others that are placed on specific diets. Similarly, pilgrims were not only served with wholesome food, but also complemented with fruits, juice, and bottled water. We look at the nutritional aspects because uh, nutritionally, every, every meal should serve, cover all the uh, uh, basic nutrients. And the basic nutrients are proteins, carbohydrates, vitamins, and minerals. So if we provide food for our pilgrims, we look at the proteins, fats, and carbohydrates aspect, then they need to take proteins, uh, uh, vitamins, and minerals. And the only way they can comp compensate for that is through the taking of fruits and vegetables. That is why if you look at our menu, all our menus, all these aspects are added. For the caterers contracted and other stakeholders, the watchword was how to satisfy the dietary preferences of pilgrims. They also ensure timely delivery of the food where the pilgrims are housed. In addition to this, Nigerians, particularly those genuinely based in Saudi and have the knowledge of cooking, are engaged by the kitchens contracted, all in an effort to ensure that the food is prepared to Nigerian taste. Yes, usually if you can remember, the menu we provided, you know, is specially designed for not not has common food south has common food for this particular instance we ensure that the foods that are popular in the north are produced like here if we are allocating uh, order for a particular uh, service provider we take note of the peculiarities of the state and tell them that this is what we prepare like they prepared uh, ton shinkafa Semo, rice and beans, at times they prepare uh, uh, macaroni. Mutaranam dole za kawa ni saka iya aiki. Wana aiki mwane kuma dole za kawa ni ze iya aiki. Ze baka na ningida, tist na gida, dole za kawa kwa. Ba za kawa kazo kakao kabude ya guri kakawa ni balarebi ya kwa wani zi shize mwa abinchin Nigeria wana baya yuwa kai za kai aiki da alhazeba lele ba duka suga msuda abinda kake iba ama ngwa te masala ta samu abaya kwa wani nankuskure karamiya samu zamu zanna da komutin da yike duba abinchin alhaze zamu tembesu meka mata agara meka mata ayi awuche ya wana masala da aka samu zasu ba mshawar warinda zami so, if you have a chief, a chief, a chief, a chief, a 
masu aiki akan daho abinci mu ba su shawarorin da aka ba mu a gara ci gaba da aiki kanda ba za a samu masala ba biyu because we are Nigerians okay we are investors here they are come solely for the programs and we've put them first so we we put ourselves in their shoes so whatever we cannot serve ourselves we don't serve it to them so we make sure the quantity is well enough that even though they can even keep it for later when we give them the food so that also when they are doing the packaging we make sure we go around and make sure that the staffs are there to it consistent with the feeding plants pilgrims are fed twice daily breakfast and dinner the pilgrims bear their minds on the feeding policy so we have most of the food both the solid and swallow and drinkable food they are all they are all very excellent standard and okay and they serve in time and everybody feel normal so that is it abincin da ake ba mu dai to alhamdulillah ko da dan mamancin dai ba hidi yawa sosai a baka sun abin da muka sabu ci a gida jan mu tunda Allah ya dan hura dan abin da zaka yi dai dai gurgudan ka ne so bi suke ba mu abinci da safe da da dare ko kullun ana ba mu so biyu abinci mai rai da lafiya abinci da nama karyawa da shayi kaga babu abin da ramu cewa gwamnatin mu ta jaha da ta tarayya sai dai Allah ya saka da alkhairi to mun Allah kala abinci duk wanda mutun ke bukata yana samu eh zaka samu tu zaka samu shinkafa zaka samu dankali zaka samu bread zaka samu shayi zaka samu mai madara da maran madara saboda kai har ta masu lalura ta diabetes su kansu ana ba su abinci a gidan nan again Nakonen states ensured that the feeding arrangement in Muna and Arafa was successful. Indeed, by providing traditional Nigerian dishes in addition to other meals, the feeding arrangement ensured that pilgrims remain nourished while embarking on one of the most significant spiritual journeys of their lives. <laughs> Masha Allah, the program is as you and Sahar call. Coming up next is Making the Hatch. Stay tuned and don't go away. <laughs> Ibrahim, otherwise known as the station of the Prophet Abraham, alayhi salam, is an important Hajj landmark located at the Haram Masjid in Mecca. What history is associated with Makama Ibrahim? What are the pilgrims recommended to do at the place? The place in which God manifests signs. On making the Hajj tonight, Imam Abdul Karim Jamil answers these and other questions. The Makama Ibrahim refer to the stone on which Prophet Ibrahim alayhi salatu wasalam stood on while he was building the Kaaba. As is a son Prophet Ismail alayhi salatu wasalam used to pass stone to his father that is Ibrahim alayhi salatu wasalam Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala caused the trace of footprints of the remaining on the stone as a reminder to the believers uh, uh, among his uh, descendants the Islamic scholar father says this makoma Ibrahim is a small squared stone inside a glass a metal enclosure with what is said to be an, an imprint of a prophet ibrahim according to, to to some tradition according to one tradition they say this stone was sent from the heaven to prophet ibrahim along with two stones one of being one of these stones that sent along with the with the stone that uh, they used to build the Kaaba is a uh, Hajar al Aswad. The second one that it was sent to him is a stone of the uh, children of uh, Israel. What acts of worship are recommended for pilgrims at Makama Ibrahim? Once the tawaf is completed, it is mandatory for the pilgrim to offer two records, preferably close to the glass enclosed. And observe two records uh, of uh, nafilat, and it is encouraged. It is uh, uh, encouraged for the uh, pilgrims to recite the first surah. I mean, the first raka to recite uh, surah al-fatiha and surah al 
kafirun. The second one, you recite Surah Al-Fatiha and uh, Surah Al-Ikhlas. That is called O Allah. It is not allowed for a pilgrim because some pilgrimage they will go and be touching the, the glass, the enclosed glass, and be rubbing it in their body that uh, their prayer were, has been granted and uh, uh, so many things that is not permissible. By rubbing the glass and, rub, and use it to rub our body, is not encouraged. What supplications should pilgrims offer while at the station of Ibrahim? Come on, Ibrahim, there is no any, is, we have not, it is not written anywhere that uh, there is this is a specific uh, supplication that one can offer when he's in a Makome Ibrahim. The only thing is to perform the nafila, but whatever you want to supplicate, whatever prayer you want to observe there, it is allowed. Uh, so one can, uh, one can perform any supplication at uh, Makoma Ibrahim. Imam Abdul Karim Jamil advised intending pilgrims to seek more knowledge on Hajj rights in order to earn Hajj Mabrur. Alhamdulillah, now it's time to know the winner of last week's quiz and also the question for this week. Good luck. Welcome to the quiz segment. The question in the last episode was, what pillar of Hajj is associated with Hajara and her son, Prophet Ismail alayhi salam? The correct answer is, Sa'ai or the walk between the mountains of Safa and Marwa. The winner is Amina Lawal from Kaduna State. She provided the answer ahead of others. Amina Lawal will be contacted on how Nakon will reach her with the prize she won. A quiz winner will get 25,000 Naira cash prize. This is part of Nakon's efforts in social investment in Nigeria. Now to the quiz for this week and the question is, how many times are pilgrims instructed to walk between Safa and Marwa? Again, how many times are pilgrims instructed to walk between Safa and Marwa? Text your answer to the number shown on your screen. The winner will be the first person whose correct answer is received. All answers should carry the name and the location of sender. Good luck and happy viewing. Once again, good luck to you. Up next are your messages. The first message came from Abdul Qadir Rabi Udederi. It reads, I must commend the effort of Nakon in this year's Hajj operation, particularly the feeding and accommodation provided to pilgrims. I hope Nakon will sustain the tempo in subsequent Hajj operations. The message was taken from our Facebook page. Also from our Facebook page, Bashir Lawal made this comment. We thank Allah for the success of 2024 Hajj. May Allah spare our lives to witness more and contribute to the success of Hajj in coming years. This is where we draw the curtain on today's program. See you same time, same day next week with another edition of the program. But before we go, remember that you can send your messages, comments, observations and questions through our mobile phone number and other social media platforms. Once again, thanks for watching. Ma لبيك لا شريك لك لبيك إن الحمد والنعمة لك والملك لا شريك لك لبيك اللهم لبيك لبيك لا